Hey guys, so I'm sitting here in my remote office with my brand new laptop, which is the Asus uh, ROG Strix uh, SCAR G16. Uh, but that's not going to be for long, because on my way back, I'm actually going to stop by the post office and I'm going to return this to the seller. He has luckily agreed to give me a full refund, so I'm in a pretty good mood right now. But the way that Asus has screwed me over with this laptop I just have to make a video to warn other people, because if Asus gets away with this kind of scam, then what's the future of uh, PC laptops going to look like? So imagine if you had gone out and bought a new TV because you were really excited about a particular technology, like the mini LED screen. And then when you got home, you noticed that uh, the quality is terrible, but also it's not even using the technology that was advertised that you bought it for. Uh, well, that's exactly what has happened for me. I bought this laptop because it is has this amazing mini LED technology, but it turns out that uh, that's all a scam. Basically what has happened is that Asus has created this uh, really high spec machine, combined that with a really high quality monitor, and then they have sent that out to reviewers. But then the model that they actually sold to people depends on your region. So. Uh, I don't know, and I don't think anyone really knows which regions got the good computer and which ones got the terrible computer. Uh, but basically it seems like America got the good one and uh, most other countries got the really terrible one. Now if they want to treat their American customers better, I, I suppose they're allowed to do that as long as they don't lie about it. But what they've done, they have led you to believe by outright lying that you are also getting that particular model, but you're not. Okay, so the way that it works, I'm just gonna summarize it by saying that there's two types of uh, monitors for these kind of computers. It's the Nebula Display, and then there's the Nebula HDR. And the Nebula HDR, that's the one that has the mini LED technology. Now, even, even something as simple as that, I didn't even know before ordering it. I just saw the sales page that said that this is mini LED and I bought it. You know, I didn't do that level of research. But afterwards I did, when I, when I realized just how terrible of a monitor this is, uh, I started researching it and I found that answer that actually you need to be very careful because if you get the Nebula display, you're getting a terrible display. And if you're getting the Nebula HDR, then apparently it's pretty good. Then I got a little bit nervous, obviously, and I looked into it, like, which one do I have? I looked at the sales page, which says that it's definitely the Nebula HDR, the one that has the mini LED. Um, so I'll just read you the sales page of what I ordered, uh, which says, uh, ROG Nebula HDR with a staggering 1,100 nits of peak performance, blah, 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 mini LED panel. So that's the sales page. But yeah, you can't really blame Asus for what it says on the sales page. Uh, this is the, the, let's say, one of the biggest New Zealand uh, retailers for computer equipment, but, uh, but of course it's not official Asus. So it's, that's, it's not really their fault that uh, the sales page is, could potentially be writing the wrong information. Uh, even though I do suspect it is Asus' fault because they are making it so hard to realize this. But anyway, let's ignore the sales page for now and just uh, look at, for example, the sticker that comes with it. So this came on this laptop and like I was saying, the, uh, the online advice is that you gotta look out and make sure that you're not getting the Nebula display but you're getting the Nebula HDR. So I looked at the sticker and what does it say here? It says Nebula HDR right underneath this QR code. So that to me is in the Nebula HDR monitor uh, and this one does it, it doesn't support HDR more importantly the mini LED technology that's associated with the Nebula HDR. Apart from that, uh, some forum users, uh, they were saying like, well, yeah, uh, you had to look out for the SCAR because there's a Strix G16 that's identical, but it's not SCAR, and then you don't get the mini LED technology. And, but that's, again, like you look at here, ROG Strix SCAR. So this is the SCAR model. But anyway, even if you really don't care about this particular issue, it really is just the, the tip of the iceberg. So right now, all of the major hardware channels like uh, Gamer Nexus, um, J2Cent, and Linus Tech Tip, they're all talking about how Asus is a little bit in trouble for something else, which uh, 
involving motherboards so we're talking i'm not even gonna go into that but even for my own personal experience it was the tip of the iceberg so when i first got this computer it was broken on arrival so it had this really loud um, sound coming from the graphics card I thought it was something stuck with the in the fans or something like that, but it turned out that it was uh, something called coil whine, which is usually a high-pitched whining sound, but sometimes it can be the sound that I was hearing. I didn't really play around with it at all at the time. As quick as possible, I tried to get it sent back. Even that, you know, it was ridiculous why they would have sent something that was so obviously broken. It should not have passed their quality assurance. And then sending it back, it was ridiculous. It took them so long to evaluate this. I kept sending them emails like, what's going on? It's like, it's been weeks. They were saying like, oh, we're waiting for the right component. But this item was broken on arrival. I shouldn't have to wait for months for a component so you can fix it. I should just be able to get a brand new one so eventually they agreed and they did send me this one which is the brand new one it still has that sound just not as loud as we're not gonna hear it right now actually maybe you can hear that so this is not as loud as uh, the first computer that I got that I sent back like do you want to listen to this all day long if you're gonna work with this computer all the time and this is me running just an empty Unreal scene. The fans are barely blowing, so this is not a complicated uh, process at all. So you can, if you hear this much from an empty Unreal scene, can you imagine how, uh, how much noise you're gonna get from running something heavy? So at that time, I kind of felt like they win. Like, I, I can't deal with this any, anymore, because I'd already waited like something like two months um, to get that the computer. I was worried that if I send it back again, it's gonna be old by the time I get it back. Uh, so I officially just gave up and said, you know what, um, I don't like this computer, but I'm just going to keep it because, uh, um, you know, I don't have time to deal with this. And that's when I started just installing my software and things like that on it. And that's where eventually I started to realize, like, the, this monitor is so incredibly bad. Like, there's something must be wrong. And it, I could not get a straight answer why it was so bad. So if you try to set the mini LED settings in their control panel. It's not like the software is gonna tell you that you don't have that version. It's just not gonna let you find the button, basically. The button is invisible. I borrowed like a color calibrator to measure it because it says that it was supposed to be 1,100 nits. And then I measured it and it seems that it turned out that like, whoa, it's way less than that. But anyway, focusing on the positives, I have contacted the seller about uh, these kind of false claims on the sales page and they have removed them since then. So the other positive thing is, you know, the, the seller is agreeing me to send it back for a refund. I don't know if that's because anyone can do that or if it's just because uh, I order quite a lot of things from them. I guess the remaining question is like, what, what does this say about Asus as a company? Because you listening to this, you might actually be in America. So for you, you might actually have access to the high spec computer with the mini LED monitor. If I wanted that computer, now I can't because they don't sell that one in New Zealand. So I don't really have that choice. So it's an easy choice to go uh, to a different brand. So if I did have, we, we have a little visitor. <laughs> seagull you know the tesla has a glass roof so it's pretty funny to see the seagull sitting above me there yeah would i have chosen that computer because that computer that you're selling in america actually has really good specs and that's where the bigger question comes in like can we trust asus like this is absolutely ridiculous to lie like this and i know they're getting away with this because a lot of people they don't even know what mini led is they just listen Maybe they don't even listen to reviews, but if they do listen to reviews, they just kind of trust the reviewer. Like, oh, he's saying that this monitor is awesome, so it's probably awesome. I think the bigger question is, is it time to boycott it as a company? Because this, I think, is really ridiculous to like outright lie this amount. And I think, I mean, in an ideal world, the answer would be 100% yes. Never aces again. Of course, we're not in an ideal world, so there's actually not that much to choose from when it comes to laptop. And if you have my requirements on a laptop, like which being able to charge it from USB-C, 
and still being able to have the graphics card running you're really starting to narrow down the amount of choices if you're still going with this kind of asus computer i wouldn't completely blame you but if you can avoid it we gotta stand up against this kind of uh, sales tactics i think the future of pc gaming in general is at a jeopardy if uh, if asus is kind of allowed to get away with this kind of fix and make and get rich from it because i know that they're getting away with it i know that there's so many people who don't even know media led they know it as a buzzword but they don't actually know the difference uh, it is a very noticeable difference but i guess that depends if you ever even seen a media led if you've never seen one then maybe you would look at something like this and think that wow it's pretty good even though i look at it and uh, uh, it's extremely noticeable so anything that's dark basically anything that's dark becomes gray the black levels are, are gray because there's there's no dimming zones in this monitor and to make it worse it has so much ips glow around the monitor as well basically all of the corners is, is displaying a huge glow and it's not the mini led glow so if you know how mini leds work they do have a little bit of, of a glow around every pixel so so on something like this with a star field uh, an OLED would be displaying it perfectly, even though one pixel is bright and one is dark. Th that contrast would be perfect on an OLED. Whereas Mini LED is struggling a little bit with that. But that's not the problems we're seeing here. What we're seeing is these enormous glows that always comes from the corners, having nothing to do with what the content of the video is. Well, anyway, I know what I'm choosing, and that is I'm gonna pack this stupid computer up and send it off and never touch Asus as a brand ever again.